Welcome to Databytes. We recently released two new Grok types, JSON and CSV, to let you easily parse CSV logs and logs where JSON is mixed with plain text. In this episode, I'll show you how to create parsing rules in our parsing UI using these new Grok types. In the description, there are links to our docs that include more details and examples. Let's start with CSV logs. For my example, I'm using a CSV file that contains data about all the Super Bowls beginning with Super Bowl I in 1967, where the Green Bay Packers defeated the Kansas City Chiefs. The CSV file has 10 columns or data points, which include the date, Super Bowl number, winner, winner points, loser, loser points, the MVP, and the stadium, city, and state it was played. To begin, I'll create the new parsing rule where I will use the new CSV grok type to define the CSV attribute names or columns. There are also some optional parameters that allow me to define the separator and quote character if they are different from our defaults. I can also choose to include or drop the prefix log used in the grok syntax. See our docs for more details on the optional parameters. For this example, I will just use the defaults. In the logs UI, I'll select parsing and create new parsing rule. I've already prepared the grok expression, so I'll just paste it into the parsing rule section of the configuration. As you can see, I'm using the CSV grok type along with a prefix named log, and I have defined an attribute name to use for each column in the CSV file. Now, I'll paste in a sample line from my CSV file to make sure my grok rule is extracting the correct values. As you can see, all 10 values are extracted out with the prefix and attribute name defined in my rule. Since it looks good, next I'll give my rule a name and enter a NERCLE to match this CSV data on ingest. I'm going to use log type equals Super Bowl since I'll be adding this log type attribute to my logging YAML configuration when I set up my infrastructure agent to read in the CSV file. I'll save the rule and I'm done. Now, on the host where my infrastructure agent is running, I'll create my csv.yaml configuration in logging.d to read in the csv file, and then move my csv file into the directory. Now let's go see the logs in New Relic. I see that the file was ingested, and I can see that each line of the csv got parsed with the prefix and attributes defined in my grok rule. Success. Next, let's take a look at the new JSON grok type for parsing JSON mixed with plain text. The New Relic Logs Pipeline parses logs in pure JSON format by default, but sometimes you have JSON log messages that are mixed with plain text, like this example in our docs. As with the CSV grok type, there are some optional parameters you can configure, but generally the defaults will suffice. Here I have some sample logs being ingested that are JSON mixed with plain text, similar to the example in our docs. You can see that the entire log is captured in the message field, and the JSON part of the message is not being parsed into individual attributes. I've already created a parsing rule to fix this. Let's take a look at it, and then enable it to see the difference. I've written a grok expression that will capture the timestamp and log level fields, and then using the JSON grok type, I'm matching the JSON portion that remains. You can see in the output section that it's parsing the log as expected, including all the JSON attributes with the single grok expression. I'll enable the rule and then rerun my search to look at some new logs coming in. As you can see, the new logs are being parsed and contain the new timestamp and level attributes from the text portion, as well as all the JSON attributes from the JSON portion. Don't forget to check out our docs for more details and examples on using our new CSV and JSON grok types. I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.